I've got another set of stories from work that are very silly. Some of them actually made me upset, some of them just silly and funny. Um, I have this one called The Sue You Lady. Um, about a month or so, a month or, so, about a month or two back, a uh, lady came in. She was short. Uh, she wasn't kept very well. Um, but she came in angry, right? Um, came in angry. She had bought a kitten from the store a month prior. Um, and uh, she came in complaining about the kitten. Uh, she complained about when she took it to the vet. And the vet only... The, the vet just, like, looked at her and just said that she was fine or whatever. And um, we have... At the pet store, we have a free five-day vet checkup after the purchase of of whatever animals we have in the store and the vet is the vet clinic across the street into in a separate plaza um, and we're not liable for anything that they do it's just that we have a cool setup where they go buy animals here they can go get it checked up for what I would assume is yes with they can go get it checked up for free uh, at the plaza across the way so it's a deal um, and she went and the vet the veterinarian lady uh, she said the veterinary the veterinarian lady um, just looked at her cat, her, looked at the looked at the new kitten, and said, "Oh, she's fine," and they went went on their way. And then um, uh, she was angry about that. And then I, I I just told her that we're not liable for anything they do. Um, it's just a free five day vet checkup. And then she complained that if you're that if you're gonna do a free five day vet checkup, it should be at a good veterinarian clinic. But she kind of had a point there. But I'm not the one doing any of that. So my boss. But you got real out of hand when she straight up just. Uh, she, she said that we gave, uh, that whomever was in here gave her kitten treats instead of free samples of the kitten food that we feed them every day. Um, which, um, if you were to buy a kitten at the store, um, you buy a kitten, I believe for $65.99 and you get three, three of the 99 cent toys that we get for free. You get, uh, uh two free samples of the kitten food we feed them, feed them daily as long, along with a uh, uh, medium sized can of cat food and nowhere on there does it ever say that you get any kind of treats um, although my boss told me that sometimes if we're out of the samples of the cat food we'll give them some treats or whatever uh, which I don't know but it's good information for me for future reference but um, she said that we gave them treats and if it was if it was within a month's time we weren't out of kitten treats at all so she just uh, complained unfoundedly, and um, she said that she fed the treats to her older cat. It got the older cat sick, and um, she had to take it to the vet, and she didn't take it to the vet across the way, which is fine. People have their own vet, but the free fight of vet check up is at the vet across the way. Um, she said she took it there, and, like, her cat had, like, cat had like some weird thing and she had to pay like $400 for uh for vet fees and stuff and like it was kind of she like oddly implied that she wanted me to give her $400 um as like a reimbursement for for our problem when uh the way it sounded it didn't sound like like we had an issue so like she had a miscommunication on what certain things were um and then uh she she just goes on a, on, on a on a tirade about how bad the store is and this and that and um, I've talked to my boss about this prior and my boss was like yeah our store whenever the animal control or we get store inspections and stuff because it's a pet store and stuff that we have one of the cleanest pet stores in the area um, so I'm like okay cool I don't think any of this you're saying is true. Um, and then she's getting angry. She's getting nowhere with me. I'm, I'm letting her know that we're not liable for anything. I apologize that her cat got sick. I hope I wish it didn't get sick. If, it, if, but we weren't liable for that. We don't give them cat treats. I even showed her the sample bags of the cat food we give her. Uh, we give uh, for each cat kitten purchase. And she was like, "Oh yeah, it was something like that." And I was like, "Well, then it wasn't a treat. It was a food." Um, and sometimes older cats can't uh, eat certain types of foods and that's probably on the list of foods that her older cat probably shouldn't have been eating um, and then um, she threatens to sue the store she's like uh, 
because we give our we, like like you can buy shots at uh, different pet stores and stuff. But we don't carry any shots. Um, and my boss um, will go to the vet clinic that we have to deal with with the free, free five day vet checkup and go and get shots, get the shots there, give them to the kittens here. And um, she was angry that she did she didn't think that was legal and um, that. Uh, that my boss shouldn't be able to do it and stuff like that. And I, and I told her, if my boss needs certificates to do whatever, he probably has them. And she's like, oh, well, I want copies of this and I want copies of that. And I was like, ma'am, I don't have any of those. I can talk to my boss on this, this day. And then um, she was like, I'm not talking to your boss. And I'm like, well, then you're not going to get anywhere. You know, she was just angry, just angry. And um, um, she says that she's going to go talk to her lawyers and try to get the store shut down and... Um, I, I, like as she was walking out or whatever, because I was like, I was like, ma'am, like, you, like, like, I can't give you any of the information. You have to go to my boss uh, for this, for that, for the certificates if he needs them, and if he has them, you can get it from him. I don't have those. I don't, I don't give the kittens the shots or anything like that. Um, and then she said that my boss has no compassion for animals, and that the snake we have in the back is dead. And I'm like, that's not true, because I was literally watching the snake move around the day. Um, and she was like, oh, whatever. And, and then, like, I told her that, that it's very hard for my boss to not have compassion for animals when he was a great Dane breeder, um, but he stopped a few years ago because it became too too costly for him. Um, and I, after she left, I was a little bit freaked out. That was the first time I've ever been yelled at by a customer. I was a bit jarred. Um, and then she looks at me. Okay, had somebody call the store, had to go do some actual work. Um, but uh, she threatened to sue the store. I said my boss had no compassion for animals. And then, like, as she walks out, she's like, I was already a bit heated because she, she wanted to get rid of my job. And I was like, okay, you need to calm yourself. I was a crazy lady. I call my boss. I tell him what happened. Um, I say, I, I texted him, you might get sued sometime soon. And he was like, wouldn't be the first time. Um, and he called the story. I told him the whole story. So this lady, I don't know why it always tends to be ladies. I have not, I have yet to have a dude, uh, a guy come in and have some weird complaints like this about the store in general. Um, but I had a lady come in, a bit of an older lady. Uh, she kind of looks like the grandma that's always worried, um, but means well. Um, so she go, she comes into the store. I think she buys like some kitty litter or something and um she go we have kittens at this time she goes in the back looks at the kittens um and then she comes up to me she comes all the way back up to the front of the store and says that she wanted me to move the move the kitten litter box and we have it in like a because we have like six or seven kittens um having a normal size litter box isn't just going to cut it so we get like one of those big bins those big like uh storage bins and put kitty litter in there and um the kittens have no problems with going in it. Um, it might take them a day, but for the most part, I haven't had uh, an exorbitant amount of like poo and stuff on the um, on the uh, cat trees and stuff. But um, she's like, I want you to move the kitty litter box because they're getting stuck in between that and the cat tree and stuff. And I'm like, huh, I haven't seen any of the kittens be stuck in between there and not be able to climb and stuff. So I go back, because I'm like, oh, whatever, I'll just move it, because uh, it's no big deal, and then I'll probably end up moving it back once I go in there and I change the kitty litter and stuff. Um, or I scoop out all the, because it's, it's, like it's clumping litter, so get all, out all the clumping poo. Um, and then uh, she comes up, buys her stuff, um, um, she, she says something about how the, the snake's cage is too small because he's up, a, she's up against the, she's up against the glass of the cage and, um, I'm like, okay, um, and then I, I I'm essentially like not saying anything because at this point it was really early when I started here. Um, at this point I don't know too much about different kinds of animals. I've only had a varying number of dogs and most of them ran away, uh, um, and then she leaves, and then not within like 10 minutes, 
does animal control come in and animal control uh, says that they got a call okay had to do more work but uh, she leaves and within about 20 minutes this lady comes back in no she doesn't come back in within 20 minutes uh, a guy from animal control comes in and says that he got a, that he got a complaint about the snake cage and things like that and I was like oh okay um, and I'm just sitting here and I'm like okay I hope he doesn't say anything bad about it because I don't know but I'm but I'm thinking that that uh, the cage is big enough because that is oh, the cage it's in is only a temporary cage because my boss is trying to get a big a big old square one made um, but it's taking him a bit longer because he wants his uh, his daughter's husband to make it because he's like a comp carpenter or whatever but um, uh, he goes back there looks at it walks up and, I, and I'm like was there any problem he's like no it's completely fine and I was like and I was like oh okay I, I, and I asked him if there's any penalties for false like for incorrect like calls on animal control and stuff like that and he's like yeah but uh, or whatever but that, that lady apparently because uh, I, knew, I knew what lady it was because it was within like 10-15 minutes um, he's like, yeah, that lady's called a few times. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. And uh, I've had a few people come in and say that the snake's cage is small and things like that. And I'm like, and, and to my knowledge, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but snakes don't, like, snakes don't need a massive cage. Uh, like, they don't need a cage that's twice their size when they're coiled up or whatever. Because they're not out hunting for food, and they're not—they don't—they don't—they don't really move uh, that much. Because I've only, I only see the kitten, the kitten, the snake in the back move very seldomly, and it gets fed a lot. Big old feeder mice and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't really. Uh, to my knowledge, they don't need huge cages. But my boss wants to get a bigger cage so it can have more room, um, but not as a necessity, more of as a luxury. For our snake and we have two corn snakes that are real small and adorable but they like to hide enough and I haven't had anybody complain about those just our big red tailed, red -tailed boa um, that's in the store named Roxy uh, yeah that lady was a bit weird um, I, don't, I don't think she's came in since then um, she may have she may have just not came in the days that I've been in but that's how it is so this last story has no resolution yet. I will probably be putting this, um, if there is resolution, I'll probably put it into like a different video, work story video. Um, but I've had a lady come in a few times um, where she walks in, and normally whenever somebody walks into the store, um, I put on my retail face, and I'm just like, hey, welcome to Pit Paradise. Uh, how's it going? You need help finding anything, blah, 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 blah. Um, Every time she walks in, um, I'll be like, "Need to find anything?" She's like, "Nope." Just goes on her way. Um, she's only in the store for like two minutes. She walks in, goes back to our pet room or in that direction, walks in and then walks out. And then as she walks out, I'm like, "Did you need help with anything?" She's like, and then she she'll either be like, "No," and walk out or not answer me, um, which is fucking weird. And I've had her come in a few times, um, and it's grown to be a bit creepier and creepier each time. Uh, but the latest time she came in, uh, I asked her if she if she needed help finding anything, if she was looking for something in particular, and she kind of uh, didn't have that same stern voice and was just like, no, or whatever, and I walked out. I was like, okay. And I wanted to ask her um, why she always comes in and doesn't buy anything or doesn't have any questions or whatever. Um, but uh, another customer came in and I didn't want to embarrass her or anything like that, make her feel embarrassed or singled out or something like that. So I didn't want to do that. Um, but I want to find out why she uh, comes in and only spends about a minute to two minutes in the store. Uh, but yeah, man, work working at a pet store is definitely fun. Had to take care of dogs, cats. I don't really feed our red-tailed boa because uh, I don't know how to handle snakes and my boss wants to make sure I don't die. Um, I'm not a fan of snakes anyway, but there's a chinchilla in the store. I got to take care of that. There's a few rats, um, some mice, things like that to take care of. It's really fun. Um, we've been working here for about seven months. Uh, I enjoy it. 
yeah, pretty fun. I recommend if you if you had to work a retail job, a pet store is probably where you want to go.